Welcome to another episode of Continuum Meditations Discusses. I just returned from my second viewing of Rogue One, a Star Wars story. I know, I know. Some of you will say I'm not a real Star Wars fan. Only two viewings? Hey, come on. you got to do better than that. Okay, after that viewing, I must say that I enjoy the movie more this time than the first time. You know, they say that a second watching helps one absorb more, and for me, this was certainly true here in this case. An example is a correction of some of my errors in the planet's visit, which I got wrong in some of my posted videos on the movie that are already up. Yavin 4, for example, was a planet that I named in another video as the planet where Galen Erso was stationed in his work on the Death Star. This was actually the planet Edo, E-A-D-O, where Galen's daughter Jen Erso and the Rebel Strike Team went to help find him, and that's of course where Cassian Andor was going to assassinate him originally, anyway, when he finally first found him. But I think the most important thing for me was a re-evaluation of the characters and the story as a whole. Now, while I still believe that character development was needed overall for some members of the Rogue One squadron, for example, Baze Malbus and Chirut Imwe, uh, in this viewing, this second viewing, I found that the personalities and motivations of several of these characters was easier to absorb in this sitting than it was in the first which of course is natural and to be expected. But also, as a consequence of that re-review, I find myself liking the characters more this time than I did the first time, and I found that my ability to bond with them was greater than the first time as well. Now, this includes a better enjoyment of the character Bodhi Rook, for example, whom I first thought of as a kind of a throwaway character. This time, however, I was able to appreciate more how he fit into the story and uh, to appreciate some of his motivations a lot more than I did the first time. Uh, and I came to see how the struggles that he endured, though they were, of course, less than those of Jen Erso, Cassian Endor, by comparison, were more to be appreciated. And, of course, uh, that helped me to appreciate the loss of his life more when he was blown up by that grenade on Scarif. Of course, uh, we know that Bodhi Rook also was tortured, and being tortured is no small affair at all in and of itself. Now, as I said in previous videos, I am fully aware that this is an ensemble cast, and therefore that full development for each character was not possible, nor by me was it expected. But I also stated before in my other videos that I do think certain characters required more development. For example, I cited Jen Erso and Cassian Andor as uh, two instances of that. The movie still has issues, certainly. For me, the score is still somewhat mediocre, and the rapid pacing of the first one half hour or so where we're moving from place to place to place is still a little too quick. I think if we'd still taken the time to slow that down a little bit and get a little bit more absorbed into those worlds, we'd be able to appreciate it better. And being able to appreciate the worlds better, we'd be able to appreciate our purpose on those worlds and our characters' involvement in those worlds a lot better. And that would bring the movie more into focus, especially as better character development is done on top of that. I was able to appreciate the character of Chirut Imwe even more this time than I did the last time. And as a consequence of him, well not just a consequence of him, but also appreciate the character of Baze Malbus more than I did uh, last time as well. Um, I found out something interesting on the second helping of the movie. Baze Malbus, did, did you know, was actually a guardian of the wills? Yeah, that was mentioned in the movie that uh, by Chirrut Inwe, that Baze Malbus, he said, was one of our greatest uh, members of the guardians of the wills, or most devout members, or devoted members. I think he said something like that. But that was interesting. It, it gave me more insight into some of these characters than I had had the first time. I guess maybe I was able to focus on other things this time. But it made me appreciate the movie more. Now, while I do not think that this movie is a masterpiece, I still think it was good. Now, the other thing I was going to say is, I think that if they're going to go ahead and give us this number of characters, then go ahead and make the movie three and uh, three and three quarters, or I mean two and three quarters, or uh, three hours long. Two hours, forty-five minutes, three hours long for a movie of this magnitude to me is is good enough time to ask an audience to sit through it and absorb everything that you're trying to tell us. And if that means having to take an intermission, then so be it. I remember 
having an intermission done in a Star Wars movie, Return of the Jedi, when I was a kid. They had an intermission for that movie. Now, it may be the particular theater that you may have to negotiate that with, but I don't think an intermission is a problem, and I don't think two and three-quarter hours or three hours for a movie of this length is too much to ask an audience for that, for that movie to be developed thoroughly and for the characters to be even more fleshed out than they were. So, on my second viewing, I'll just summarize it by saying it again. I found it to be a better movie even this time than I did the first time. I don't think the movie was great. I don't think the movie was a masterpiece. But I do think the movie was good. And it is worthy, uh, certainly worthy of inclusion in the Star Wars franchise. As I said before, I think it is better. And I'll say it again, I'll repeat that for emphasis. It is, in my opinion, better than The Force Awakens. And so I would definitely say I would look forward to seeing this movie come out on DVD in an extended release. And I would look forward to uh, watching it again. Who knows? I may go see it for a third time after this. But I definitely enjoyed watching it a second time and got even more into it this time than I did the first time. So until next time, Star Wars fans, it's been my re-review of Rogue One, The Star Wars Story. And until next time, may the Force be with you always.